And Europe's largest economy, Germany, is considering more steps, including entry restrictions to stop mutant virus cases. Restrictions already, they have impacted economy and companies there are bracing for more impact of new restrictions. But how has Germany and its firms handled COVID-19 restrictions? And how could more restrictions impact companies and their sectors going forward? To talk all that and much more, today we are joined by Stephen Sigel. He is executive board member of German real estate consultancy Reason Summer. He's joining from Stuttgart, Germany. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Stephen. First of all, uh, my first question to you, how does second wave of lockdown impacted real estate sector across your markets in Europe and Asia? And how are you coping with the second wave of lockdown? Actually, we're in the second wave of uh, pandemic. And uh, yeah, it's a little bit different than uh, it was after the first wave. After the first one and in Europe and uh, even in, in Germany, um, we uh, handled that, uh, from my opinion, uh, very good. Um, we had uh, even the, the feelings what uh, will come over from, from China and, and Asia. So we had the chance to prepare us on some construction sites. And um, even if I look on the whole economy um, in Europe, um, then of course we have uh, different uh, uh, demands in the, in the different sectors. But um, under the, the line, um, we managed uh, the first wave uh, very well. Uh, so the first lockdown in, in spring, um, then it's, uh, we went into the summer and there were a lot of uh, positive and, uh, things uh, coming back. Um, even the industry saw the advantages and uh, we thought, oh, maybe we are over and, and through um, and uh, we only have uh, one lockdown and now it's getting better. The, but then the, the bad weather came uh, starting in autumn. Um, then uh, the ill people uh, rises up and um, this is where we came a, a little bit afraid. We had a lot of uh, following lockdowns in different countries. So uh, over whole Europe that wasn't managed um, and, or it was managed in, in different ways. Uh, for example, we had very hard lockdowns in Spain and uh, Italy. We had nearly nothing, uh, for example, in Austria or the Netherlands. And then autumn started. Um, and uh, the uh, COVID-19 pandemic uh, rised up and um, now we're in the second lockdown, not only in Germany, um, I think uh, nearly all the countries in, in Europe uh, followed. Um, the actual uh, lockdown um, is uh, quite longer than the, than the first one. So we started in, in December. And Stefan, how is your company in individually, how has it handled and reacted to the pandemic? If you could uh, talk about advantages in these circumstances, then we had the advantage that uh, we are also uh, located in, in China and our colleagues there, um, they felt uh, in, in, in December 2019 that there will come something up. And, uh, and then it, it really came in January and February. Until that date, we, we realized nothing in Europe. And uh, then uh, and our Chinese colleagues, um, they had a, a totally uh, a lockdown in, in China. And we thought, what will happen if that will come to Europe? Um, so we had the, the chance to prepare us. Uh, and uh, by the end of February, um, every employee in, uh, within uh, our company, so all 4,000, had the chance to work from home or from wherever, fully digital. And um, I think this, this was a really an advantage um, that we prepared us the, the last years for an, in digitization. Um, everyone was uh, well prepared within the company. The only thing is that on the other side, you also need the clients uh, well prepared for that. And there we saw a, a lot of differences. And lastly, what are your plans to grow in Asia, particularly in India, Asia's third largest economy? If you look on India, it's such a big and uh, large economy. Um, we are, um, for example, we are in China, uh, always looking on, on India. Um, we also always looked um, on how, is, how the large economies like China or India are doing and in, in, in the, or what they are, uh, how they are reacting on, on the pandemic. I think uh, we were looking to China, first of all, because it started there. They went through and we thought in summer that, whoo, China really through. 
because there were uh, still trade fairs with 30,000 people again, um, where we weren't allowed in Europe to meet more than 10 people. Uh, and we thought, well, they, they have a very good idea or uh, they manage ev everything well, so they are through, but now it's, it's still back. And uh, we're looking on the, on the large economy of, of India. Um, I think uh, um, if you look on the, on the whole global market, then we are in a situation that um, in, in the last decade, um, globalization was standing all over us. Uh, and now we, um, a lot of our global companies uh, thinking, was it the right way? Because if you're uh, a manufacturer or OEM uh, for automotive, and you have uh, uh, companies uh, working for you in, in China, India, the US, and at the moment, um, you don't get your, uh, your parts in time. Uh, and they are um, thinking on a new way on the, on the global uh, uh, line. They, uh, in, in the last decade, uh, everything went into global. We on now available in your country. Download the app and get all the news on the move.